In today's video, we'll be discussing everything to do with BUD switches. Um, BUD stands for Block Update Detector. Alright, so there's two different BUD switches here. I'll, I'll show you them. Um, but first, in order to understand how the powering works for that, let me show you here. Okay, now torch underneath a block will power redstone on top of the block or redstone to the side. Okay. Now keep in mind, if you remove this block, which is exactly what the bud switch does here, it ex extends, the power goes away. Okay. So it needs that block there to send power to the side. And that's how we're using it over here. And that's that concept. The other thing that we use now and then is uh, relays. Now relays, because the redstone is on top of this block, that block is considered a powered block. And we can take power from a power block and send it. We can also take that and, and because it's a relay, it'll pass power right through the block. See that? That's pretty tricky how that works. Okay, so there's some basic wiring um, techniques there. The other thing we do is, right there, torch turns off because the block's powered. Alright, so here is your bud switch. This one over here is our standard bud switch. As you notice, if we put a block next to it, it updates and the light blinks. Now to simulate the update, I use a relay. The relay has no power, it just lets us do an update. Easier. Okay, and that works by sending power up and, up and over into this block, or this block. Now a standard bud switch is, is worked by, let's see if we take the power back off those blocks, it does nothing. Power this one. It works. Or this one. It works. A standard bud switch operates on the fact that you power the block directly in front of and one up from the piston or directly behind and one up of the piston. Okay. So it doesn't matter which side you send the power to, it could be on the left side or the right side, as long as this block or this block are the powered blocks. Okay? Either one will work. Now what makes this one different, as you can see we're coming in kitty corner from the uh, piston, and again it's this is the power block, or kitty corner on the other side is a power block. It doesn't matter which which one you you power. This one is a T flip flop, meaning when you change the state, it stays that state. When I click the relay the piston stays open. Let me again show you the difference over here. When you click the relay, well, I broke my wiring here. <laughs> you gotta make sure the, power, the block that either one is powered. It blinks when you update the block next to it. This one over here stays open or stays closed. As you can see, the light's turning on, turning off. Now, the output to these circuits here are on the side, um, or whatever. However you want to take power from that, it's really easy to do. Let me quickly show you how to build one. Now, I used the colored patterning on the bottom to make it easier to make, but we'll just do it real simple here. So first off, we start with a sticky piston, and we put a block on it. 
It doesn't matter what kind of blocks you use. Um, transparent blocks don't send power, like glass. Don't use glass. And fence posts. That doesn't work. So, right here. Two, three, and up. Okay, you see that? This happens a lot, where you get a, a piston that just won't quit. And that's usually because you have things around the piston that it doesn't like. See how you put this block here, and that piston just goes crazy? That's why. Now, you have a block next to that block next to the power. It doesn't like it. These things are very touchy. Okay, now the other important thing is to make sure you put this at maximum. Now the, the difference in the pulse is very, very minute. So when you're pulling power off of it, it doesn't matter you know how long this is set for other than it works best at max. Now you'll notice that on a single player game, you can get away with it at this. On a multiplayer server, you might need it at two, three, maybe even four. It has something to do with lag. I don't understand it exactly, other than if you just leave it at four all the time, when every time you build a bud switch, you won't have any problems. This is how we built the bud switch. T flip flop bud switch. Let me make sure that that's clear, because we are powering, see we're sending power, to the block that's kitty corner from the piston. That'll make this a T flip flop bud switch, meaning when I update the block next to it, it's going to stay open. When I update it again by destroying the block, it closes. Let me again show you with the, the relay. Again, this is just to simulate an update. And you can do the same thing, making it a... regular bus switch by simply just putting the wire right there. See how that works? That is the only difference between a bud switch and a T flip flop bud switch. Their their uses are very many. Alright? So sometimes when you have an update uh, you want to send a pulse and that's when a bud switch is great. When you do want to, when you send an uh, update and you want to send a steady signal on or off you want to use a T flip flop bud switch. Let's say you want to toggle the doors opening. Now, pulse doesn't work very good. They'll just open and close. And that's where the T flip flop bud switch works perfect for that. And uh, we go into many uses. I use this in, in many different circuits. Um, so, and if if you ever have problems with it, it's not working quite right to reset this thing. If it's if not uh, open if it's open and you want it to be closed uh, simply take the, the block off the front of it take the piston out put the block down and put the torch down and it'll reset it to the closed position now another thing you can do is like I've been doing you can leave a relay there so that you can prime it and then when you're done you can just pull it up all right if you have any questions uh, feel free and uh, post them and looks like my brother over there red ochre is working on some kind of water tutorial I'm sure you'll see that in the channel soon anyways give me a thumbs up